Okay, so what I want you to do for um, your induction week is to have a look at this experiment here. So we've got a couple of bulldog clips holding our rubber tube in. I wonder when that's going to fail. I'm sure you will find out. We've got the cradle down here. So because we're using the bulldog clips, we should be able to change the lengths without having to cut the tube in. So that should be good. Uh, we've got a stack of weights here. So give that a go. And we've got some other tubing here to use. Okay. So what do you think? Is it going to work? Right. So the important thing is to write your stuff down in your lab book. Now I've got my lab book here. So I've written that down. Okay. Okay, so first mistake is that the cradle that I put on is for the heavy weights. I need to measure for the cradle for the light weights, first of all. all right, so let's start again. Right, so measured this cradle and it's at 50 grams. Right, so repeated the same thing again the lightweight cradle so the lightweight cradle there at 50 grams and the extension for that was 33 centimeters so now let's start sticking on 100 grams yeah so these are 100 grams and uh, see what we get from the uh, adding more force here and we're expecting more more strength okay so what I'm doing is I'm now get my weights and I'm sticking them on and then I'm measuring it and I'm recording my values here okay so I've done enough data that um, I've got I could plot a graph with so I've got five bits of data there. So I'm going to plot a graph. I'm going to work out my strain values and plot them against the force being applied. Uh, for my second experiment, I think I will look at what happens if I change the length of my tubing. Okay, so before we look at the second experiment, one thing we need to check is has this um, here has this tube got longer if the tube's got longer then it's been plastically deformed which is a problem so um, let's measure the tube before we go into the second experiment okay so I've measured the length again uh, before I was getting 32.5 with no cradle now I'm getting 32.7 with no cradle so either it's slightly being extended possible or I'm just measuring it badly more likely right so for my second experiment I'm gonna take the maximum weight that I used last time which I think is, what was that? 550 grams, I've written that down incorrectly, 550 grams, uh, and, oh no, I think. Yeah, the last one was 50. Um, so that was, sorry, I got that right. The last one was 500 grams. I'm gonna take that, and now my experiment is gonna be is let's take the bulldog clip and move it up and down and see what strain values we get with this um, moved at different locations okay that's the idea okay so what i'm doing is i'm measuring with no cradle there and no weights and then i'm going to put my weight on 
and then I'm going to measure it again and then work out what that strain value is. Okay, so if you see, we've got um, the value with no cradle there, and here we have 500 grams of weight. So we've gone from 8.9 centimeters to 10.3 centimeters. I'm going to do this for different original lengths. Make sense? Right, so. So my next one, you can see, made it a bit longer. Uh, I'm going to do one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. I'm going to do about five places on the tube. Okay, I don't know what you're going to do, but uh, I think I'm going to need a bigger one of these. Okay, um, because I think I could be going beyond 60 centimeters. Okay, so I had to switch to the the big ruler. Um, so I don't know whether that invalidates my results. Now at 59.3, which went over 60 centimeters, really 68. I'm, gonna, I'm now gonna try this one here. So let's see how that works out. Oh, there's something else I wanted. Yeah, that's why I, I wanted to mention. But before I, I do the last one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this unloaded, loaded, and then I'm going to measure unloaded again, doing that same check that we did before. Could there be some plastic deformation going on, or is it still staying elastic? Okay, look at this. Almost a massive fell. Look. Look how, how close we are to the bottom. I had done it any heavier. I wouldn't I wouldn't have enough space. But I knew what I was doing. Okay, so ninety-six point six. I almost didn't have enough big enough ruler that goes to a hundred centimeters. So now I'm just going to take the cradle off and see if there's been any plastic deformation. Okay, I'm measuring 85.5 before 84.5. So it's looking like there's plastic deformation. But again, it could just be me really struggling to measure this thing and get it accurately done. Let's measure it again, see if I get a good result. Okay, so I want you to see this in real time. I'm going to be putting on all the loads I've got here. Is it going to break it? Let's see. High protection. Okay, so we might have to consider some health and safety aspects. So I've set this one up and this is going to be for 18.5 centimeters. And uh, we are going to load this and stand well back. There you go, it's perfectly safe with my security measure by wrapping it around. Well, my results 
do seem to show that when we're lose, using these maximum loads here that we are going to get some plastic deformation of course I've already been extending this particular portion of tubing so it's not a clean result it's already been extended from previous setups but yeah um, we are looking at if you're going above uh, 10 newtons or something something of that order that you're definitely gonna have start problems with um, plastic deformation